Hello everyone, welcome to Immense Imaginations. In today's video, we will write a Java program to count number of digits in an integer. Let's get started. Let's create a class. Let's include the main method. Say we have a number five four three two one. So I'll show you two ways how to get the length of this uh, number. Let's look into method one. We can convert this number to a string using string class and value of method. So let's assign this to a string variable, say s1. Now if we get the length of this, we can directly get to know the number of digits. So let's print this and say s1 dot length. Okay. Now we should expect an output 5 because we have 5 digits. So let's run this program. Okay, we are getting the length as 5. Okay, this is one of the method. We will look into the second method now. Th. So method 2 is we can use a while loop. while num not equal to 0 okay first i will write the logic and then i will explain you so while num not equal to 0 we will say num is equal to num by 10 okay we are dividing the number by 10 each time let's uh, initialize a count variable initially let's assign it as 0 later after each iteration we can increment the count variable now let's print the count value okay so both of these should give us length as 5 now let's run this program okay we are getting 5 now let's understand method 2 in debug mode. I put a debug, debug I put a debug point here. Let's debug as Java application. We'll switch to the perspective. Okay, if you look here, the num is 54321 and the count variable is 0. Okay. Now we are dividing the number by 10. Okay, after the first iteration, count is incremented to 1, and the number now is 5432. Now, again, this number is divided by 10 again, and the number becomes 543. Now again we are incrementing the count variable. Now count becomes 2. Okay. So likewise, each time we are dividing the number by 10 and we are incrementing the count variable. Let's finish off this loop until the number becomes 0. So once when the number is 0, this condition won't satisfy so number is not equal to zero but the number now is zero we will come out of the while loop and finally we will print the count i hope you are clear if you have any questions do comment it i will look over them thanks for watching this video if you like the video 
do subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for my future updates thank you